Hey guys, so I wanted to come today and do a review on this hair that I've been wearing for about a week now. So I have a pretty good idea of how this hair works. Um, and I absolutely love the texture. That is like the main thing. So what I'm wearing is the Blue Ribbon Virgin Brazilian Afro Curly. I have two 22 inch lengths. I have one 20 inch length and then at the very top I have an 18. So I just wanted that natural layering without having to cut the hair because I hate to have to cut it. Oh, I really, really do. <laughs> so it's super long. Um, it goes down to about my waist and I'm 5'4", so um, I have some pictures that'll show you um, what, when it's straightened, how long it, it reaches to my body because they have some full length pictures. Um, but yeah, that is basically the specs of the hair. So this is the hair when it's wand curled. I'll add some pictures of its natural curls so you can get an idea of what that looks like. Um, I just wanted to wear some wand curls. I don't know. <laughs> That's the only reason why I have them in. Um, because I just wanted my hair to be full. But I wanted to show you what the hair would look like wand curled and in its natural state. And I have straightened the hair as well, so I'll add some pictures of it straightened and all of its processes. Um, I did create a U-part wig, and I have that sewed down. I have a video on how to do that. Um, I did bleach the hair as well. I have a video on how I do that as well. So it's basically, um, I kept the hair pretty dark at the roots and then I went ahead and just uh, bleached the hair all over and then I bleached it again to get the lighter ends. Um, but that's all I did to get the hair color. Uh, the U-part wig is sewn down to my hair and then I have some hair left on the perimeter so I can pull my hair back um, if I need to in a ponytail or a bun or anything like that. So, um, but yeah, this hair, the texture is like the main thing that's so important because the hair isn't super silky it's sort of a low luster hair so if you have natural hair and your hair is relaxed or it's not relaxed um, you can you know blend your hair with this hair so much more easily than any other hair that I've tried I mean the Mongolian the kinky curly obviously because that's my natural curl pattern that's easy to blend but what I mean is this to be a looser texture like my hair blended so seamlessly with this hair even when it was straight and I can get my hair pretty straight but I can get it silky like super super silky and it just has that sort of mulatto that's what they call it on the website mulatto texture where it has that afro influence so it blends very very well with um, anyone that sort of has you know that natural texture that kinky texture. So when you choose the hair you get a choice between dark and like a natural brown. So I chose the natural brown which is pretty much like the root color and then I just went ahead and bleached it. Um, when I got it, it came in a box and it took a little bit of time you know because it does come from overseas. So don't think that it's going to come in two or three days uh, if you live in the U.S. It's not going to come in two or three days. It'll probably take a week. Um, it took about a week tops for me and I live on the East Coast. So when it came to my house, it came in a box and inside the box was this nice little bag and it says blue ribbon right on it, which is so cute because then you can store your hair in it. The hair came bundled in this little box that says blue ribbon and then you just slide it out and the hair came packaged in this little box. So this is awesome for storage. Um, if you swap between hair or if you want to give, you know, your extensions a break, you can keep them in this box. So that way it's not, you know, tingling somewhere. And then it comes with a nice little letter from Blue Ribbon Hair. It says, Dear Client, we accept your sincerest thanks and gratitude for purchasing our virgin hair range with us. It was truly our pleasure to serve you. Here at Blue Ribbon, we strive to provide the highest level of service possible. We hope that your experience with us was a pleasant one. And, her, der, 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 der. and then it gives you instructions. So if you want to go ahead and um, send your pictures into Blue Ribbon, you can send them um, via Twitter or Instagram. And they'll post your pictures on Instagram, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I haven't had any issues with tangling. My fingers glide right through, even in the back of the nape area, which is so uncommon for me because I always get uh, tangling. I never get it to mat. I never get like to that phase, but it does 
most hair that I've ever tried has tangled in the back. Um, and I just assumed that that was like a natural thing with longer hair or kinkier hair or just, you know, extensions in general. But this hair does not tangle <laughs> in the nape area at all. Like, I can put my fingers through it. And this hair is wand curled. You get what I mean? Like, <laughs> like I can literally run my fingers through this hair um, in its any state. The natural state, it's wand curled state, straight. I mean, it didn't mat up in the back, which is so unusual for me because I normally get like a little tangling at least in the back. Um, so yeah, I haven't had any issues with tangling at all whatsoever, not even a little bit. And shedding, now I will say that when the hair is wet and I'm in the shower and I'm like detangling my hair, I will get about maybe two or three strands. Nothing to scream about, but you know, it's there. Most extensions that I've ever tried have shed just a little bit, um, so it's about normal shedding. What I've been doing to keep it to maintain its curl pattern is I've just been co-washing it maybe every two days, two, three days. And then I've been adding this Bioterra Triple Action Leave-In Treatment. You can use any leave-in conditioner that you normally use for your hair. And then what I've been doing is just adding some wrapping lotion, so like motions wrapping lotion or, or setting lotion. And I've been using these flexi rods and basically I just take a little bit of my hair and a little bit of the extension hair. And then I just take the flexi rod with my hair soaking wet and then I just wrap my hair around and you want to do it loosely down the shaft of the flexi rod. You don't want to do tight spirals. And then I just lock them in place. I do it all over for my leave out. And then you have to make sure this dries 100%. If you don't, your hair will frizz up when you take it out. So that's how you set it in the place. You just make sure it's 100% dry in the flexi rods. And then when you take it out, then your hair will match the curl pattern. So you can either use the little green ones or the orange ones. I like the orange ones though. I think they work the best for this, for the natural curl pattern of this hair. Um, but other than that, I haven't had any issues. I mean, literally, since I've been wearing his hair, everyone's like, oh my God, I love your hair, I love your hair, I love your hair, I love your hair. Which is cool because it's not my hair, but I'm glad that I love it and other people seem to think that it looks great also, so I guess that's a plus. Um, but yeah, I will go ahead and film a, I can do like a three week, a one month review video um, of the hair, let you know how it's going, because I'll be wearing this hair for sure um, for the next month or so, only because I really love the color. I think I... I I think I got as close as possible to the color that I really wanted. Like, I've wanted it sort of ashy and sort of warm at the same time. But I wanted it dark at the roots and I wanted like a sort of cradle of darkness, <laughs> which sounds pretty terrible. And I wanted some highlights in the front. So I think I got as close as possible um, to the hair color that I wanted. So I'm gonna wear this for a while. It's gonna be my summer hair. Um, during the day, sometimes if it gets hot, then I'll just braid it up. And I'll do like a cute little side braid and leave some of my hair out in the front. But, you know, nothing serious, basically. Or I've been doing the ponytail, like I said, because I left a little bit of my perimeter out. But I'll go ahead and do a full rotation so you can see the back as well. And I also have a video on uh, how to wand curl hair. It's called like Taylor Swift inspired hair. It's the wand curling, but that's literally what I did with this hair. I just blowed it out a little bit, wand curled all over it, and that was it. I got it done in literally like 30 minutes tops. But yeah, that is the hair. Um, there's also a discount code to let you know. Um, so if you go on blueribbon.com, you can choose any selection of hair. You can choose Peruvian, Brazilian, Colombian, anything. Um, and if you use the code BELL, B-E-L-L-E, uh, then you can get a really nice discount on the hair, which is nice because I don't know a lot of companies that are doing that these days. So yeah, uh, go ahead, take a look, browse around, and then um, use that discount code too because that's going to save you some ton of cash. <laughs> so yeah, if you ladies have any questions, leave them down in the comments below as always. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon to let you know what's going on. In the meantime, follow me on Instagram because I post pictures of hair and makeup and things. So <laughs> uh, until next time, guys. Bye.